Japan, Japan, J. Contra here in the junk section of Hard Off in Beppu, Oita. And it's become apparent to me that if you want to get a Game Boy Advance SP in this country, you could just come here because they've got quite the selection in the junk section. They all work. The only problem is that they don't have their their power bricks. Which is like a five dollar part. So these are gonna be perfectly fine. And only twenty bucks. Power bricks five bucks. Normally these could go for like eighty bucks complete. Well even loose actually with their power brick. But they're all doing okay. Actually got a really impressive selection of lots of portable systems. Black Game Boy Advance, twenty bucks. Bit of a problem with the screen though. The DS graveyard, simply because that touch screen is, you know, it's going to kill all these systems. And well, a new 3DS, what is that doing here? I can get, you know, the original DS. So let's head to the junk. My god, this is just the console junk here. So we've got, hold on, let's see. This is fine. And here's this beautiful, beautiful skeleton blue. Oh, but it's, the tray will just open all on its own. What a beautiful system. I don't see any Donkey Konga those. So hold on, let's see what's this. It's the dance pad for the GameCube DDR Mario. Does it have the game with it? I'd buy it if it had the game with it, but I can't tell because it's closed. It's supposed to be a set though. That's interesting. Here's the family trainer. I just saw the game for this a while back, three dollars. But it only has the controller with it. I mean, it's not like it can't be that expensive. The game, it's like what for looks. And this is a very interesting stick. This must be the most impressive controller oh. junk I've ever seen. I mean, I'm in total, but look at this, the twin stick Saturn. It's what, 12 bucks? I don't even know what game I'd use that with. Then we, of course, have the prerequisite beat up wow, what happened to this? Hold on. What happened to this? My god. Must have dropped it on concrete or something. Wow, there's a lot of these here. They're five bucks each. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a, this beat up PlayStation. Wonder what happened to it. The sun, most likely. Then we've got how many game cubes do we got? Maybe you can help me count. But these, I'm sure these game cubes are perfectly fine. We've got what six? It's actually low. Usually, 
Usually these junk sections have tons. We've got... Ah, it doesn't load discs though. And it's beat up. Then what have we got? Oh, the old reliable Saturn. Saturn stick, yeah, it's very tight in the joystick. Although what has really grabbed my attention is this Neo Geo stick. It's actually, yep. Feels good. It's a lot of arcade sticks here. And of course, the Wii Fit graveyard. Oh, and here's the Donkey Kongas. All right, let's head on. Let's head on to the other section. Oh wait, they even have another N64. How much is this other N64? Ten bucks. Uh, no. You should not be paying ten bucks for a junk N64. You will snap. Let's see. Bunch of PS3s and a 360. Hold on, what is this? Can you use this on the N64? I don't believe it. So look at this, it says it should be good for PlayStation, Sega Saturn, and the N64. Huh? I don't know how they pulled that off. see this, but it's uh, Disney VHS's buck a piece. I really wish I could find some Star Wars VHS's, because I refuse to watch the special editions. Right, let's move on. We're not here. We're not here for VHS tapes. If you'd like me to dive into some VHS tapes, let me know. I'd be more than happy to. And then we come to the back. We've got pretty standard junk section. Let's look down a little bit. So we've got here a lot of, I love these original DS's. Yeah, that seems like they're working fine. Some of them have problems with their screens, but 12 bucks for a DS. No charger though. Yes, I L L. What are you doing here? Ah, oh, yeah, there's a problem with the screen. That's I would be. Normally, I recommend buying stuff in the junk section, but with these portable systems, you just gotta be super careful of the screen. Now these red dots are interesting. I wonder what those mean. Dunk shot. Super Mahjong Daikai. Pro Yaku. And there's G Ko Soccer, which is a legendary crappy Super Famicom game. I just don't know why it's bad. I haven't played it myself. Shining Scorpion. Hidetsu and Go. Goal two. Pachinko. Oh, Crayon Shinchan. Worldwide Soccer. Oh, you know what this is? It's a major title. Yep, more sports, sports, sports. to be anything good in this. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Soccer 2. But man, look at these. I like these uh, different... Oh, I love the skeleton. Oh, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful memory card. Skeleton red. 
Hold on. This is... Oh no, that's more. <laughs> you know what? Don't wait. Why bother buying American? How much are American PS2 memory cards? Because here we've got, I don't know, 10 for like 4 bucks each. So cheap. start. This is a really big junk section. Wow, more VHSs. We did N64 junk last time. I'm trying to find our PS2 stuff, because we haven't done PS2 junk, I don't think. Though let's see what's in PS3 junk. If you'll allow me. Hold on, let me get you guys down there. What is in here? Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Square Enix published this here? Wow. Got a Naruto game. Three bucks. Blaze Blue. Carno Phantasma. Three bucks. What's oh, Haze? Oh, yeah, I remember. I saw this a lot at GameStop. And yet, I have not played it. That's a black bush. Puliyaku 2013. Dragon's Dogma. Capcom game. Tales of Vesperia, three bucks. Another Naruto game. Oh, is that a Yakuza game? Yeah, Yakuza 4. Three bucks. Oh, and I even have Yakuza 3 for $3. Hmm. And the Little Big Planet. You know, Little Big Planet, it was fine. It was an okay game, but I'd have a real hard time recommending it these, d these days. It's Shining Residence, $3. Hmm. And then if you wanted the original cover for uh, Yakuza 4, and it's cheaper. Two bucks as opposed to three for some reason. Oh, wow, well, they even have... This has even made its way to the junk section. Ground of Zeros. Five bucks, though. That's a bit steep for the junk section, if I'm going to be honest. Okay, and then what's over here? Sorry, as I shift you guys around. Did they put a Neptunia game in the junk section? Oh god, no. Oh god, no. I don't want to get banned on YouTube. Yeah, let's, let's uh, clean out. Let's clean up with Metal Gear Rising. Three bucks. Oh man. I'm buying that for a few years ago for like 20. Torune. Oh, is this the... This is like, uh, you can turn your PS3 into a DVR with the right adapter. Oh, another Blaze Blue game. So one of these Blaze Blue games around. Two fifty for this one. A lot of Tales games. A bunch of Tales of Zillia, Tales of Asperia. I only ever played Tales of Symphonia, if I'm going to be honest. Of Gundam games. Well, maybe just one. I can't see any others. Then what's with this stack here? Winning Eleven, Ninja Gaiden. Okay, that's gonna be difficult though. Muso Orochi 2, and Tales of Zillia 2. Okay, what's in the Xbox? That's interesting. I've never seen an Xbox. Junk. Oh, Blade Storm. Blade Storm's a good ass game, though. That's really fun. It's like Dynasty Warriors, but in the Hundred Years' War. I'd recommend it, especially for three bucks. That's nothing. 
even have, oh, Japanese Oblivion. For some reason, I've really wanted to replay Oblivion recently. And I guess if I could play it in Japanese, that'd be a good excuse. What else have we got? Halo 3. Three dollars? Yeah, it's a Japanese version. And then Murakumo. This is a game. It's from From Software. I'd really like to play this. Looks awesome. Maybe it's just the red and the black. Maybe that's. I'm easily captured by the uh, by the cover. Tenku freestyle skateboarding. Three bucks. Xbox Live Arcade. Can you just do you have to download games if you have this? Not for resale. Um, uh, someone did. We gotta call this hard off. Telling they'll still illegally selling a game. Moving on. Where are the PS2 games? We just found the PS3 games. There should be a PS2 junk section. Oh, it's all the way over here. I didn't realize the junk section had so expanded that, oh, I'm going to have to push some uh, inappropriate content out of the way. Excuse me, folks, but uh, some inappropriate DVDs beneath these PlayStation 2 games. We got uh, Dead or Alive 2, which is barely appropriate for YouTube. Got two bucks right there. I love Dead or Alive, although I haven't played Dead or Alive 6 yet. I'll pick it up when it's like 10 bucks. Extermination. What is this? Oh wow, that looks uh, really intense. I don't, I don't know if I need that. What's, this? What's up with these top games? Auto Modalista by Capcom. And online too. Steed Gundam C. Rogue Galaxy. I see that a lot. Dead or Alive 2 for a buck. Half off. Oh, and Sweet Get in 3. One dollar. Prince of Tennis. More Prince of Tennis. Kiss of the Ice Prince. Oh wow, Seiken Densetsu 4 for one whole dollar. Dot Hack. Boy 1. Gundam DX. Love that retro cover. away. What have we got here? The Love Adventure. This was for the GameCube a while back. Seed. PlayStation 2 collection. We got all of these games. Like, the N64 took me like five years to put together a full collection, and that was just 300 games. But PlayStation 2, at least they're cheap. Most of them. There's a couple of expensive PlayStation 2 games that are expensive. Fun. Toko 
でも一緒、私ない本。Oh, that's interesting. I'd like to pick that up. Okay, so three、uh, for Grace by From Software. It's on a DVD, too. Everybody's Tennis. And this is our Universe. Not heard of that. We had someone who loved Shadow Hearts turn these in. One buck, two bucks. What else have we got? Okay, it's really hard to grab those next ones. So let's move to the next bin. What's here? Oh, here's the Final Fantasy bin. Look at that. Oh, wow, there's a great set in here. 12, 10, 2, Dragon Quest 8. Look at that. Dragon Quest VIII, Final Fantasy X. Man, if you wanted to get a real good set of PlayStation 2 games, you could do it right here. Like for five bucks. This is four bucks. All these games here. And then we got the Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 2. One buck each. My lord. And we even have Metal Gear Solid. Wow. Anything else? Now we got lots of 10-2s, more Dragon Quest 8s. That is a very fun bin right there, folks. This is different. Brought it with them. And they got rid of it. Three bucks. Tekken Tag Tournament. More SD Gundams. Gundam Seed. Shimano Epo. Yeah, I saw this for the GameCube. Victorious Boxers. Armored Core 2. <laughs> Looks like some adventure games. And then they have、uh, the dancer size DVD. More DVDs. I guess, unless you want、uh, Harry Potter, how much is Harry Potter in the Philosopher's Stone? Two bucks. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of wait this out until the guy next to me is done. Don't, don't know what that is. Hey, it's Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane for a buck. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's here. Did we look into this? No, I don't remember this box. Nemo Kokon. Hope that signal t e l l me we're about half an hour. I think we can, we've got time for one more box. Why not? 
is even in here? Don't know what that is. Ace, another Centuries episode. Is that a Gundam game? No, just mobile suits. Well, sort of Gundam. A little bit. Grandia. Generation of Chaos. Oh, um... Yakuza. And that, I don't miss this. Oh, it's a wrestling puzzle game? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Pachinko game by Sammy. Winter game snowboarding. Z Gundam. A lot of Gundam games here. Gundam games are really cheap. There aren't really that many expensive Gundam games out there. The Naruto. Alright, let's end it on Naruto. Okay. Let's put you let's put it away. I hope you've had fun. Found a really cool selection of games here, even in the junk section, but also a really good selection of PC engine games out on the main floor, but that's all the time I have. I've been your man in Japan, Jay Contra, at the Hardoff in Beppu, Wait to Prefecture. Thanks for watching. See you next time, and mahalo.